So now that we're able to actually click on icons, we want to make it so that when we click on our items, you can see a picture as well as a description. That's where we're headed in this tutorial. Let's get started. If you open up your inventory canvas and take a look in the inventory description, you may remember that we have an item image slot as well as a place for a item description. We're going to expand that item description by adding a UI text mesh pro, which we are going to call item description name text. This is where we'll display the name of the item that is equipped or selected. We'll also create another one, which is just going to be called item description text. We'll then head up to our item description and we just want to add a vertical layout group here. This will allow us to control how the two text boxes appear. And for now, we just want to take our alignment and set it to upper center. With that done, we can then go to our item description and we're just going to change the size of this box so that it has a width of 500. We can then make it look the way we want it to. I'll then head to my item description text and also make it look nice. And obviously, we're going to need to change our rect transform here. Once again, we'll go with the width of 500 and we'll try a height of 400. Looks good. All right, with that done, we can head into our item slot script where we can do some work to make these display what we want them to show. In this script, we've already created some categories for variables, including item data, which is the information of the item, item slot, which shows what the slot will actually display, and we're going to create a new one called item description slot, which will just be the place where we decide what to display in the description panel. So we're going to need three variables here. The first is a public image called the item description image. The next will be a text mesh pro. We'll make this one public as well called item description name text. And finally, one more public text mesh pro called item description text. Now that we've got all of these, most of this data is going to come from things we already have. So for example, we already know our image. That's the sprite up here. We already know our name. That's our item name. However, we've not yet passed in the description text. So I'm going to head up here into our item data where I'm going to make a public string which will just be our item description. Now the only problem with our item description is that for the moment we don't have any data there. To do that we're going to have to head back to our item script. Now in the item script we've already declared our name, quantity, and sprite. We're just going to make another serialized private field. This one will be a string called item description. Now one fun thing we can do here because we're going to be writing more than just one sentence sometimes, I'm going to type in text area here. Adding that line gives us a nice big box to write in. So I can describe my coffee here saying it's cold and old. That said, it's looking mighty tasty and it's caffeinated. Restores three health. So now that our item has a description, we need to go down to the on collision enter where we call add item and make sure that we are passing that item description onto our inventory manager. Now it's not gonna like that for the moment, but we'll fix that in the manager. Now in our inventory manager, if we go down to add item, we just need to tell it that it also should be expecting a string called item description. Then it's also going to need to pass that item description on to our item slot, which again, it won't like it until we go there and fix it. And now in our item slot, we can tell it that it should also be expecting a string called item description to be coming its way. Now that the item description is coming this way, we need to actually do something with it. So I'm gonna head down here we take all of the other data that is in this script and make it equal to the script that's been passed in. So I'm just going to add a this dot item description is equal to item description. So now that we've received all of that data, we want to actually have that data appear in our item description box and image when we click on items. So to do that, we're going to head down to our on left click method. Now, once we've selected an item and deselected all the old ones, we want to change what data actually appears. So to do this, we're gonna take our item description name text, which is gonna be the name of the item, and we simply wanna make it equal to item name. And it's not gonna like that because we wanna make sure that it is actually the text part of that script that we're uh, talking to. We then wanna make our item description text dot text equal to our item description we want to address our item description image and we want to specifically look at the sprite and make it equal to our item sprite. Now back in Unity, a couple little things we want to do. First of all, for our item description name, I'm just going to delete that. And the same thing for the description text. 
simply because we want them to be blank until we select an item. Additionally, I'm going to look at our top item slot here. And you'll notice now that it is wondering where it's going to find things like the item description name and text. And so we need to tell it. So I'll just scroll down here and let it know that the item image is that one and then also pass on the name text and description text. Now here we run into a little problem in that even if I go to overrides and click apply all, when I click on my other item slots, they're still going to be empty. I've not found a really efficient way to fix this. Unfortunately, in this case, I'm just going to delete these slots, take my item slot and duplicate it to fill this back in. At this point, I'll just click on my inventory canvas and lock it in place, clear out my item slots, and then use shift click to repopulate it. If somebody knows a more effective way to do that, please let me know in the comments. Now in my game, I can go click my coffee, hit E, there it is. When I click it, you'll see that the coffee appears along with the name and description. Now, if like me, your coffee's looking a little dim, this is actually a very easy fix. If you head over to your hierarchy and you take a look at the item image, if you open up the image component, you may have like me set the alpha to 40 and this is one that we want at full so our coffee stays nice and bright. Now at this point, if I click on other items, you'll notice that they select and things mostly come empty. However, there's one problem and that is just simply that the item image gets set with a null sprite, which does a white block. So what I'd like to do instead is make it so that when the item sprite is empty, it actually fills it with an empty sprite instead. So back at the top of my item slot, I'm simply going to make a public sprite. I'm going to call this empty sprite. And then I'm going to head down into my on left click. And what I want to do here is just when I try to fill the sprite in, I'm just going to let it know that if item description image dot sprite is equal to null, meaning it's empty. I want to make sure that my item description image dot sprite is equal to empty sprite. Back in Unity now, if I click on my inventory slots and look at my top slot and scroll down here where it asks for an empty sprite, I can just click on the circle and I have a icon sprite that is literally just an empty sprite. It's nothingness, but it's a lot better than that white square. And for this one, I can just go to overrides, apply all, and that should fix things up. Now, when I look at my inventory, I can click on the coffee to see that it's there. I need to apply those changes so my coffee appears bright. I can click off of it and it disappears. All right, and things are looking great. Now at this point, we still need to be able to actually use these items and we also need to be able to sort them so that they know how to stack and they know how to keep track of which item is in which slot. We'll get to those in the next video. Hope to see you there. Until next time, this is Matt with Nightrun Studio. Cheers.